Hey guys, Kills of Frills here, and we're back with another community base tour. So this base belongs to Lewis MCR43. Pretty sure that's how you pronounce your name. If it's not, sorry. Uh, he sent me a save, wanted me to do a little base tour, and so forth. I said, yeah, here we are. We're going to do a base tour. I can already tell the walls look pretty damn solid. Uh, it might lag ever so slightly. It is a large base, but I've had a little run around, and it seems to be okay. So where are we on the map? We are by this lake. Let me zoom out. There we go. We're on the other side of the island. The giant lake that looks like a footprint is there. You can see it there with a the bunker that's just there, and then we are here. Just down from that on this kind of lake here with the giant waterfall in the distance there. So that's quite nice. So we've got that location. So here we go. Let's have a little look. I'm going to have a little browse at these walls first. So we've got a nice entrance system, a couple of spear traps there. These spear traps are pretty damn cool. Yeah, they're mean, these things. Anybody that runs into these is getting whooped. It's not his actual save. He sent me the file so I can mess around and play around with things. If I like, it's good. We've got electric fence that is connected. We've got lights all the way around. We'll have to take a little look around this place at night, but it's uh, it's pretty damn big. Right, let's get indoors and see what's going on inside. So this is the entrance. He's given me a little aerial screenshot of the place with kind of labels and stuff like that, so I kind of know what I'm looking at. Uh, this is the garage area. They look like power line cables, which is pretty cool. I like that. By like the way, that looks... That is nice. Um, uh, this used to be a cannibal camp, I believe. I think I'm just looking at this a bit confused. But yeah, this used to be a cannibal t camp. That's why these effigies and stuff are in here. And that's why there's other parts down here. Ah, uh, yeah. Cannibal camp area at the front. Looks like a little butcher's yard, which is nice. So we've got ourselves over here. We've got ourselves a garage. Uh, we've got some tarps on the ceiling, which looks nice. We've got the night five parking over here. The wall looks pretty good. We can see out. Nothing's getting in there. The electric fence is strong. Absolutely annihilate most things. And then we've got a greenhouse section down here. It looks nice with the lights with the tops. I like the way that looks. This looks nice as well. He's used a... Um, what's that? That's the stick path and stone path on top of each other down there, which looks nice. I like the way that looks. Kind of gives it that nice straight line. Right, so what else have we got here? We have got... Oh, this is the solar panel area. Oh, my God. That is a lot of solar panel. It's a nice way of hiding it, though. Getting it behind a nice... Greenhouse-looking uh, material there. Can I jump on that and get a little bit of higher ground? I can't. I can't see up above that. Doesn't matter. And then we've got storage. Sticks. That is an awful lot of sticks, man. And stones. A crap ton of stones. <laughs> right, so we got that there. That's the entire storage section, which is cool. Here we go. Let's see. It's a nice little fence. The zip line fence system. Post in the middle. Shoot from one end to the other. And then put a post in. Gives it that rating. It doesn't stop you from going through. You can still go through. But it just looks nice. That's good. I like that. And then we've got ourselves a little fireplace there. Another one here. There we go. They're just the um, the normal fireplaces you can build. I like that too. Right, let's add a little back down here a little bit and see what else we can do. See what else we've got. I like the path. Path's cool as well. Okay, so we've got some more greenery here. Some more plants and stuff. Nice and at the start. Looks like there's a catwalk across the top of the bridge. We'll have to... Uh, the, or the bridge, the wall. We'll have to see if we can get to that. And it looks like they've built... bit decking actually just trying to figure out how it's done it looks like rope bridges so rope bridge from there all the way along here that's how they've got it so close to the floor kind of glitches through the floor which is nice i like that actually it's a nice idea for a bit of decking a rope bridge you can do a lot with a rope bridge it does look nice okay so that's that that looks like the Rest of the cannibal camp that's here. Okay, so what's that? That's tops as well. What's underneath here then? Okay, so we've got food area. I like that. I love the way this is incorporated into this. This looks cool. Look like a proper slaughter area. Some uh, cannibal effigies in here. More food hanging around. Again, I love the mixture of the tops. 
tarped roof there mixed in with a bit of wood and then this brings you up into the the camp area look at that i've had to turn the fog off because uh, you wouldn't be able to see much so the fog is as low as it can be right let's have a little a lot of uh water catch we've got there but this is back to this start area okay just trying to get the grips of where i am going on here Got ourselves a table with some revolvers right in front of all the chairs. I don't know what kind of drinking game they're playing. <laughs> but they've got their bottles up there. Some money as well. People were betting some cash. Right, what's down here? So he's giving us a nice path into... Ah, oh, they're fish. Where all their food is. I like the walls. So you can see you've got the solid beam walls of like the stone. And then you've got the... Uh, what looks like maybe a quarter log on top turned into a spike. Always pretty cool when that is like that. It's nice. Sun is setting, so I feel like we'll change that. Right, let's push on. We're going to go this way and explore this area. See what we've got down here. This looks like a campsite. So we've got that there. This is looking nice. This is on the outside of the wall by the looks of it. Look at the wall. The wall's pretty solid. Electric fence, solid wall, spikes on top. Look, looks cool. Looks nice. And then he's got, obviously, a bit of defense going on there. Stop those cannibals from getting through. Nice electric fence system there. I'm not even going to touch that because I know it's live. And then we've got ourselves a little camp area out here. Lovely fire pit. Nice tarps all set up. That looks good. I like that. Right. Uh, I feel like... We'll do this section, and then we'll head back around that side. And then we'll head around the back, and we'll see how that goes. So I believe this place here is the fishery. Obviously, where they collect all their food. Got us hanging lamps there underneath the uh, shelf. Actually, looks pretty cool. I like the way it looks like it's connected to the shelf there. That looks good. Again, the reverse side of the deer skin. I like that. And then there's the other side. I like the way that looks. Deer skin, I've never thought of doing that, but it does look good. We've got more fish. It's down there. Looks like more drying. Oh, yeah. It looks like it's an actual drying rack area with the um, torches down there. Nice table. Oh, I see what you've done. You've used a zip line to make it look like that there's like a crisscross of iron bars above the fish like that too that looks cool let's have a little look down here oh that's cool i like that as well the way the um stones coming out of the water nice pattern on this side there again this is rope bridge going uh crisscross through it gives you this sort of pattern so you're not just doing flooring it looks nice zip line in case you get stuck in the water unless they're fishing rods central fishing rods they look good though I like that is nice look at that spiked all the way around in the water as well that is cool right so that up there is their spa we'll do that in a bit i feel like we'll head back that way and we'll come around the back area right so i'm back at the area this is the camp one was out there and obviously you've got the food place here we'll go down this part and have a little look what's going on down here man this place is going to be great at night the whole thing's going to be lit up Looks like a nice swimming area. Set up with spikes all going through the fence. Obviously, it freezes here, right? So, need it for the defense. Again, nice tarped overhang there. Some plants there. Some more flowers along here, which is nice. And then you've got all the lights flickering in the water just there. It looks really, really pretty. I'm not going to jump in because I don't know if I'm going to be able to get back out. So I'm just going to stay here. A ramp and a, uh, a stairs going up. Cool. Right, where are we? We've done that. That's above the area we're at. Let's have a little look down here. Nice, another rope bridge there. I like the fact that rope bridge just like covers anything. If you can't put something anywhere, just put rope bridge in it. Nice fence system all the way along again. And we've got ourselves a nice shaded area here with a couple of tarps. It's like a giant parasol sort of thing. 
another table and uh calvin shrine looking a little bit like terminator down there but he's obviously dead oh he's dead on the uh looks like he's been gutted poor calvin what have they done to him it's electrified as well oh they've done calvin in rest in peace little calvin rest in peace murderers they've done him that is a nice bridge might as well get over that pretty quick but like, all sad now it's like wow that's a nice bridge i like that bridge i love the arch on the bridge that is really nice i like the way that looks and then they've used a uh, rope again rope bridge to get across the top yeah that's a nice bridge i like that that looks really cool Nice, right. Um, have a look, look underneath it. Yeah, and then that leads you into the water. These are effigies that were originally here. I like the way you've incorporated it to the build that's already here. Like, this stuff's already here as well. And they've just left it, so it looks like it's used. That is a nice bridge. I like that. And then that will lead you into here. Looking good, looking good. Right. Just got a church there. Let's, uh, let's have a little look at this building over here first. Uh, I don't think you can get in there from anywhere else. We'll get in there through this door here. What have we got? We have... Got, I see you got the, the... It pixelates like this when it flashes with the squares and stuff because there's so many lights. Uh, so if there's loads of lights in the game, it does this. It kind of pixelates. I don't know why. It's just very strange it happens. I thought they fixed it, but I mean, this place is pretty lit up. There is a lot here to see. This looks like a food area, maybe a bar. Definitely some sort of bar. Wow. I mean, yeah, definitely some sort of bar. That is a lot of vodka you got on those shelves there. Or shop even. <laughs> but that is a lot of vodka on that shelf. I like that. And then we've got the barkeeper. I like the way you've done the bar as well. With the shelf overhanging there. Half a lot, uh, half a plank across the top. Cut the shelves either side. See the barkeep's got himself a shotty underneath there. Just in case. Someone's not paying. They bloody will. Right, let's check out here. That leads you outside to the food place. Okay, so we've been out there. What's out the back? Looks like just storage area. Yep. Nice storage. Gore couch. Chilled out area here. Loads of stuff on the shelves. Nice and neat. Nice and tidy. And I'm guessing this takes you outside. Yeah, that will take you outside. Yeah. Yeah. Back out of the traps. Looks like someone's uh, been done in with that already. So that takes you outside. Okay. And then this brings you out into the garden area. By the looks of it. We'll go upstairs in a second. Try and get downstairs kind of checked out first. All right. What else we got? All right. We're back outside from a side door. We'll check out all that stuff. There's a lot to see here. So it's a matter of uh, just trying to figure out what way I'm going. Looks like bone storage. Bone collector section. Uh, we could potentially be underneath the church right now. Yeah, we're under the church right now. So we've got the bone storage, bone collection section there. We've got the Kazi. We'll have to duck to get in here. It's built for small people. We've got a Kazi down there. And loads of feathers to wipe yourself with. I don't know if I'd want to wipe myself with feathers. They'll get stuck everywhere. Like fire pit underneath here as well. Obviously, the crematorium. It is under the church, right? Okay. I like that. We'll go up and check the church in a second. I'm going to go back in here. And see what we've missed. Right, going upstairs. We have... Some more tables. Some more shelving with some stock on it, which is nice. Uh, we've got... Some flowers up here is good. It's a nice little view there. Looks like we've got a side door as well. It comes in from outside. Have a little look. Yeah, nice little side door there. Brings you straight up to the top floor. Uh, and then we're down here. Potential lounge area. Yeah, lounge area there. The night five. In the gore seat there. I don't know what that's doing up here, but... Oh, it's a bed. Okay, so it's like split up into sections. So you've got yourself a nice lounge and a bed there. Another bed here. Another little lounge area. Nice and rugs all over the floor. Nicely populated with like items as well. 
This takes you back outside. Yeah, this will take you out into the wall. Have a little look. I like that. Nice little view there as well. And then you can get across the walls in case it kicks off. Get yourself ready. Let's start blasting. Looking good. Looking good. And then that takes you, I believe, all the way down that side of the base. As well. I like the walls. Got a stone beam and then you've got a couple of half logs and then you got a full log on top of that. It's quite nice. All right, let's finish checking out this building and then we'll move on. Right, we're back in. It's like the kitchen area potential. Yeah, there's a seating area. That is the food part downstairs that we were just on. And it looks like we've got a nice little... Tiny little area here. The sofa. Seating area. Overlooking the, the lake and the waterfall. Pretty cool. I like that. A nice little cosy, chilled area to sit. Alright, what else have we got? We're going back in to the area above the bar. So we've got like a food area down there. Which is nice. And then this takes you out on to like a little decking area. And that is the area we came in. Just under there. Okay, this you can open and close as well. Although you can use the defensive walls, you don't have to use like a full log for a defensive wall. You can use half or quarters. It still works. Right, so this is the church. So in the church, we've got... This is the main entrance to the church. We've got like a nice garden area leading up, which is nice. Nice plants. Nice and green, which is cool. And then we'll go in here. Ah, the sacrificial church. <laughs> yeah, definitely a sacrificial church. Some sort of cult going on here. You got your weapon there. That'd be on there. Hence the bones underneath. Okay. Get some sacrifice going on in there. We'll have a look at that section as well. And we'll come back around. Right, I've come back out the back of the area because I want to check out this. This looks like the plating station. Yes, yeah, the plating station. It's where all the weapons are. You've got the plating device down here. And then you've got two more over here. And then you've got the master seat up here. Effigy arms and stuff like that on there. I'm guessing that's where they come in from. So when you plate something, they run in from here and they just absolutely get annihilated by all that down there. And then you can get in between the walls. Which is pretty cool. Just go down like that. That brings you down here. You can open up one of these gate sections as well. In case you need to start shooting anyone. Like that opens. You can close it again. Nice. And that takes us. Oh, there's a V. The wild V sitting underneath the base there. Okay, so that's that area. What was that? Oh, that'd be Virginia running. Uh, the thing is, it's like it connects into different locations. So this is obviously takes you around. I don't want to be up here just yet. I'm still exploring this place. So that is quite nice. I like the roof on that as well. Kind of flat. I like the shape of the building too. It's a nice shape. Kind of flat roof with a peak in the middle and a spike on the top. Looks nice. And then here is basically a cannibal camp that was already in the area. It looks like they've just built around it with stone. And secured it all and added some extra bits and pieces in here. Like a fire area there. Nice arch there as well above the um, entrance. Again, solid wall all the way around. Plants and some traps. More plants and more fish, food. And then there's the camp in the middle. It's just basically added to it. Some water stuff going on there. Because there's two natural camps in this area. So they've just incorporated it into the build. I like it when people do that. It's good. Right, let's push on. Um, I've been down there. This is by the side of the church. Okay, right. Now I know where I am. We can come up here. That looks like another entrance into the base. It does look like a base entrance there. Yeah, it is. You can come in from the bottom down there and then drive straight up and then in. I like the way they've done the paths with the sticks and the stones and then more sticks and stone paths. 
They look cool. I like that. And then it leads in over there. Potential another garage there. Right, let's get to that area and have a little look. All right, here we go. We are basically on the other side of this bridge. So we've just come from over there in the church. And we've got like a little base area down here as well. We'll have a little look. Before we go in there, we'll go down here and have a little look. So we've got some more plants here. Nice bridge that goes above the lake. Birds nests there. And then we've got this wall. Like this wall. Man, there's so many lights. So many lights in this. Another one of those parasols with a uh, fire pit underneath there. I like it. Can't get through there. All right, let's have a little look in here. This takes me on the other side of the bridge. I believe this is the entrance area. Yes, yeah, the entrance. So you would come in from over there. Straight up here. And then you got a bridge that leads you to the main part. Looks like a storage area, potentially. All right, what have we got? I like the mix between the floor and the wooden stone. Nice. And then it goes down into stairs. Leads you outside underneath the bridge. Okay. Hence the reason why there's loads of traps here. Quite a lot of traps. I think I'm a bit lost. <laughs> And then you got okay, that's under the stairs, and then that's just the area where they're keeping their um solar panel. Right. And then that takes you to that side of the building. Okay, so we're not dealing with that yet. We're dealing with this here. Let's get back inside. Right, okay. Let's uh we'll go in here. We've been in there, we'll go upstairs. We've got a bed area, some armor stands. Uh, this should take you back out on top. Yeah, it's a nice little balcony area there. Leads you down here to a nice seating area, some water. Right, so I mean, we've covered quite a bit. This is a big area. It is a big base. Right, let's go back inside. More plants, it's nice. And we've got another bed. Which takes you downstairs back to the outside area. Okay, so these are two different sections here. It says on the map that they give me V side and K side. So Calvin's side and Virginia's side. I'm guessing this is their base where they sleep. And then they've got their little balcony areas. Pretty cool. I like that A-frame section down there above the bridge. That's nice. And then I've been out there already. Okay, let's go back downstairs. Right, I'm going to head to that building there. That belongs to that bridge as well. But we'll take this route. That looks nice there. I'm going to look at that first. Actually, we'll do that in a second. We'll do this building here. This is what looks like storage. Yeah, it's the log storage place. That is a lot of logs, man. A nice bit of stone there. And then up we all have food storage, armor. Yeah, this is basically the storage area. Storage and stroke butcher area. This is what this is. And you've got the rope bridge that goes across so they can access the rest of their uh, wood. Looks like they put them on shelves. Yeah, they're on shelves or some half floors. That takes us outside, out the back. And there's another defensive wall there. I like the defensive wall. I like the way it's open as well. You can see through it. It looks nice. It's nice and spacious. Doesn't feel very claustrophobic, you know. And then we've got some storage there. Some pots and pans and fire. And then we've got a fire pit here. Which is good. Okay, cool. That's nice. I like that. We will do up here, and then we'll head down there to see what that is. So this is, on the map, is marked as Kilsa Frills Market. I recognise this place. I recognise those buildings. It's the market buildings I built when I um, done my last playthrough. So we've got ourselves a market here. I like these. 
It's like the way they look. Like little stools. They look pretty cool. Basically tarps at the back. Tarps underneath and then you just build a normal roof on top just to keep it solid. Just gives it a bit of texture. Makes it look nice. And then you can put loads of storage in there. Put your shopkeepers in there. Got some aloe in the background there. Loads of bits and pieces on the shelves. And again, same here. The food one by the looks of it. Herb dealer. Just to get your fix because you need it. And then the arms dealer there. Pretty cool. What's up here then? So we, we're moving on. So we've got this area, that area. We'll do that in a second. I'm going to head back around, I think. Right, so this part here is called Sanctuary. Or up there it is. This is a nice chilled area to sit. And a little gore couch just overlooking the lake. That is a great view though, isn't it? Nice loads of plants. I like the use of tops. The tops is nice. It just makes the area look brighter. This leads you to the market area. And then we've got this little bit at the front here with the, the cross seating area. That's why it's called Sanctuary. It's nice. Then we've got the overhang here. I think they might have had to use the command to remove the logs for this one. I'm not sure. Because it's just floating. But it's a nice shape. Nice table and chairs. I like the way it looks. It's pretty cool. Yeah, I like that. Right, so here we have the inn and dining bar area. So we'll have a little look in here. We'll go up this one first. It's just off the market. Okay, so this is the inn. So you've got yourselves a nice sofa. Little bed area there. What more can you ask for, really, innit? That's all you need. And we've got another room here. Nice bed, loads of rugs on the floor and the walls. Decorate it a little bit. Little balcony. Ah, uh, there's the car seat. Which goes into the shop below. <laughs> but I don't want to have a crap on that one. You're going to flood people out downstairs. So that's the inn there. And then we've got another little balcony there, which is pretty cool. Then... We'll go underneath and then we'll go up on that other side. This looks like, yeah, here we go. Storage area down here. Food and everything. Or drinks and food storage. Pretty cool. Nice person attending the fire there. What does that lead? Oh, that's just the window it looks outside. It's cool. And then you got that that opens up outside the main area. And then we've got another bit here. This would be the bar. Barkeep will be behind there. Or behind here even, because you've got a lot of drinks and stuff. And, that, and that's the outside of the bar, I take it. Which is like a garden area. Again, with the more power cables there running through with the lights on them. I like that. That's pretty cool. Yeah, you'd stand here, basically, and then you'd uh, get with your booze. That's a lot of booze, man. Up the tables and chairs. Nice. Again, with the same wall pattern goes around. Looks cool. Nice defended. Electric fence in there as well. Right, so up here, we've got another part. This looks like this is the range, okay? All right. You can pay the guy there. Get your weapons. Take shots down there. That is nice. That is cool. Loads of weapons. Like the heads on the target. So you got something to aim for. Yeah, that's cool. I like that. And then... Oh, what's down here then? Oh, okay. So you go out the back behind the range. Some more weapons here. Oh, down there. Out for safety. Imagine walking down the bridge there and just getting popped in the head by a guy who can't aim. <laughs> but we got that there. And then what's down here then? We'll have a little look down here, see what's going on. 
A little secret area. This takes you out the back of that, but this looks like there's something underneath here. Wow, that is a lot of explosives. Okay, that's storage and everything down there. All right, okay. That is a lot, man. See? I like that. I like the way it comes through here. It goes underneath here. That looks nice. Yeah, I like that. My out, V. Sorry. What have you got underneath here, then? Ah, wow. Okay, so you've got a little secret storage underneath here. Found a secret. There's a lot of weapons. V, please don't follow me in. I'm going to get stuck. Nice little secret there. What's underneath here? I think that just takes you into the water. Like that. Nice little secret. Do like a little secret in a location. That's cool. Ah, I found a little secret. You go into the uh, ammo dealer who's up there and then you fall down here. And then there's the arms dealer. Okay, that is a lot of gear down here. Jesus. Like weapons and ammo everywhere. Look at that. That is a lot. I like the look of them. They're cool. It's a shame they don't hold more explosives, though, but they still look pretty good. Okay. Just running around exploring before I moved on. Literally, you would never have known that was in there. Okay, that's cool. Okay, right. I am going to follow this area along here now. And then we've got this main building down there. It looks like it's called the King's Chambers. Well, it says on the map so we'll have a look at that sounds interesting so we've got comfy chairs they're the new ones i like the look of them they do look very comfy and we've got the balconies and stuff going down there we'll go across here and then we'll go indoors and then we've got a nice little arch bridge loads of flowers underneath it's pretty cool nice chair seating area i like that bridge that bridge is nice I think this one they've used actual logs for this one and not rope bridge. All right, let's go in. These hanging lights are pretty cool. I think it's the skull lights that do it. Because I was on the other side of the base, there was a crap load of tunnel of lights over there. And uh, it wasn't like glitching like this. So I think it's the, uh, the hanging skull lights that maybe do it. Because there's tons in here, right? That throne looks nice. I like that. That's the comfy couch. But it looks like a nice throne. I like that. That is cool. Nice little while we stand there. Takes you to the spa. We'll have a look down there in a bit. What's going on in here? Because that door's glitching. Okay, so we've got the chamber here. Maybe the area for him to get ready is armor. Face mask and sword. All golden up. I see a little door back there. How'd you get to that then? I don't know. We'll have to little check. Check that out. Maybe that's downstairs. Yeah, this area is really bad. It's pixelating real bad. All the lights that are in the area. We've got a balcony. That's pretty cool. Like that. Nice little area looking down there. King's bedroom. More of the storage. Nice. Like that. There's a nice little window there. That's cool. Like the way that's designed. Basically slope roof. Cut the middle out. And then proper frame around it. That looks nice. I like that. And then you've got the king's bed. Which is pretty damn big. Like the way you've done the four posts there. That is cool. See, it's only there. If I look there, it's bad. If I look over here, it's fine. It's definitely all those lights. That's cool. We like that. Right, we'll go downstairs. We'll check out the bottom floor. It's even worse underneath here. So what we got? We got like a, a cooking area area over here. So this is obviously where the king's food's made. Another comfy sofa. Prayer room. Cross. Skull on. Actually, it's really cool. I like the skull on top of uh, Not the skull, but the face. Like the heads around it. That looks cool. Nice and tucked in there. 
takes you out the back. All right, so that doesn't go anywhere. I thought that was the door I saw. Maybe it's down this way. So we've got nothing here under the stairs. That looks nice. And then we've got plants. Nice king's garden. And then that takes you upstairs. Okay. Ah, here we go. The king's secret chamber for all of his cash, his gold solophite and his major armor there. Hidden out the back. I see. Can't keep these things a secret from me. Right. Let's head further this way. So the area down here is the spa. You get it to it via the king's chambers. So we go through here like that. That's cool. We'll have a little fly around at night as well. So you can see what it looks like at night. A little pattern there set up with the zip lines above the uh, bridge. Nice little waterfall area running through the building. Nice balcony with a rope bridge going through it. What's up there? I'll get up there in a bit. I'll see what that is. But that's the pattern there. Cool. And then you got kind of like a seated area. Nice chilled out. Nice beds there so you can lay relax figure out how to get downstairs i feel like it's that's this way here we go these onto the fishery place and then it comes down here there we go this is the spa area underneath the fresh water waterfall there oh you can get to it from this part as well okay okay i see uh uh, that looks quite deep, so I'm probably not going to go in that because I won't be able to get out and have to swim all the way around. And then you've got like a nice snack area down here. A bathhouse, basically. You can just come in, sit in here, chill out. Having a fresh, waterfall bath, nice and clean. Pretty cool. I like that. Right, I want to know how to get to that top bit. There's a part above this up there there has to be a way up there unless there's not and it's just looks like it might just be for design potentially just for design by the looks of it yeah it's just design i think it's just to light up the water for a bit well there is tarps up there i don't know i can't figure out how to get up there hmm okay Okay, so that is that. That is the lake. Well, I mean, it's basically like an entire town. It really isn't it. It's got everything that you need here. I'm going to switch it to nighttime and we'll have a little fly around, see what it looks like. Unfortunately, we're not going to see the whole area. Well, we are, but we're not going to see the whole area of lights because it only lights up a certain part. Ah, there we go. That's what it was. Basically, it lights up the, uh, the spa area. Well, it's like the waterfall and there's also a cross up there too by the looks of it we'll have a little look around there's the fishery place campsite and then we've got the main entrance area down here that looks cool it's nice and bright it's nice and lit up we'll see if we can get everything on the go got the church and the main bar food area here. It's all lit up. I mean, I think it would lag real bad if the lights were all on at the same time in this area. Quite well, it's loading it in sections. But it is nicely lit up. By oh, the pixelation, but that can't be helped. That's part of the game. Real bright. It's nice. What's that? That is Calvin and Virginia's house by the looks of it. And then we've got the market over here with the bridge. I like the way it's all lit up. The bridge looks so cool. There's the marketplace. And then we've got the range and the arms dealer. The power lines there. And then the king's quarters. That overlooks everything. 
That is nice. I like it. I like it. And there we have it. That is another community base tour there. It's pretty good. I like it. I like it. Loads to see. Big, big, big base on the lake there. Looks amazing. So I'm going to leave this one here. So thanks for coming, guys. Thanks for watching. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see some more, subscribe. Also, I've got a Discord link in the description. Feel free to head over and say hi. If you've got a base that you'd like me to tour, feel free to hit me up in the Discord. Send me some pictures and I'll have a little look. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Thanks for coming. Bye.